Hello friends, Chris Moore here from Barbell Shrugged and the Barbell Buddha Podcast. I figure you need to see much more of these chubby cheeks, so I'm going to start doing some daily videos for you. We'll talk coffee, philosophy, cheat meals, which should be fun. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about training, specifically a squat, from within my garage gym. And yes, this is actually a garage, even though I have cabinets, I promise this is not my kitchen. I'm not that big of a meathead. So here's the thing, yeah, Jane's gonna show you. It is a garage. <laughs> here's the thing with squats. Usually, if you ask me how to squat more, I will say squat heavier and squat more often. So I would never recommend anybody squatting less than three days a week and doing it pretty heavy. That's the easiest way to squat more and more and more. Olympic welders squat a lot of weight for a very good reason, right? So there is an exception to that. There's probably a version of the squat that you don't do too well at. It might be a low bar back squat if your lower back is not so strong and your hips aren't so strong. If you're like me and you're an ex power lifter, doing a high bar squat is pretty tough. But more than the high bar squat, for me, the front squat is really, really hard. I got a really curvy back. So, one way to train that would be just try to squat heavier and heavier and heavier. But I'm always going to fail when the weight gets a little too heavy <clears throat> and I pitch forward, right? It's a very natural way that a lot of people miss their front squats. You can keep pushing the weight, but it's going to get pretty frustrating if you're not really built to do that lift. So how can you train it? Well, here's one cool tip. And actually, I'm reminded of a tweet I sent out today. There's this quote from a guy who said, once you find yourself standing backwards or standing in the wrong direction, to walk backwards is to make progress. So I think one way we can make progress in a lift like this that's giving us trouble, it could be any lift that's giving us trouble, let's move the weight down a lot and start again. So the pause squat is actually a really awesome way to make progress again. So let me show you this. So for the front squat, I'm gonna use straps because I got a little bit of bump elbow, can't rack it. So what I can do here is pick this weight up, pause the top for like three seconds, and pause at the bottom for three seconds. And I can make a little bit of weight really, really hard. Let me show you what that looks like with my hatched form. So I take it back, I hold that weight, I breathe, I breathe, I breathe. What's gonna happen is my back's gonna start getting a little fatigued. So if I squat down and hold, 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 a little bit of weight starts feeling pretty heavy. Drive it up. I could do that for three reps. So I actually got this tip from Travis Mash, who's a really, really good powerlifter. Makes a lot of weight, he's very strong with that simple technique. So how do you progress on this to actually get that lift moving again? Weeks one, two, and three that you tried this, either before or after your heavy sets, pick a really light weight, do three seconds at the top, three seconds at the bottom, move the weight up 10, 15 pounds each week if you can, start way too light. For your second block, or weeks, you know, five, six, seven, whatever it works out to, try two second pauses, move the weight up more, then try it a third time with one second pauses. And I will bet dollars to donuts <laughs> that you will be much, much stronger. So, that's today's tip. I think it's off to a good start. See you next time.